There used to be a time when the humble van was nothing more than a tool for carrying goods from point A to point B. But there are one or two that have developed something of a cult following, none more so than this, the Volkswagen Transporter. Labelled the T6 as it's now in its sixth generation, it's a direct rival for the Ford Transit Custom, Mercedes Vito and Vauxhall Vivaro. What makes it such a strong offering though is that Volkswagen badge which makes it just as popular with bakers and plumbers as it does with campers and the great outdoorsy types. The cabin is a typical Volkswagen. The steering wheel is fully adjustable and the dash controls will be second nature to use by anyone who's familiar with the brand. The Transporter does separate itself from the people carrying Caravelle with practical add-ons like this tray in the dash and two storage bins underneath the airbag. Now there are a variety of cup holders in here but they're not very deep or wide so they're really best suited for coffee stops rather than coffee on the go. There's no question the solid build quality Volkswagen has become famous for hasn't been compromised just because it's a van. The plastics are hard wearing and should stand the test of time. And there's even a five inch touchscreen infotainment system with all the usual extras. All models get electric windows and heated mirrors and the driver's seat is fully adjustable. Higher spec models add armrests and improved refinement, plus cruise control, with top spec versions adding climatic aircon, auto lights and wipers, daytime LEDs, and leather covering the steering wheel. The Transporter is extremely usable whichever form you go for. The short wheelbase model has a maximum load length of 2,570 millimeters, which rises to 2,970 millimeters in the long wheelbase. Space can be increased further with a low, medium or high roof. Now you could be forgiven for thinking that the Transporter handles like a typical van. After all, it's got the boxy dimensions and when empty, very little weight in the back. But this is a Volkswagen. And remember, the Amarok pickup is one of the most car-like commercial vehicles of its type. Volkswagen has applied the same treatment with the Transporter. Yes, you get the high driving position. And yes, visibility out of the back isn't the best. And getting in and out isn't ideal for anyone who isn't as nimble as they used to be. But the steering is surprisingly well weighted. The throttle response is good and the gear shift is smooth, even more if you go for the seven speed DSG. What's more, the latest incarnation is surprisingly refined, especially in higher powered versions. It's available in a number of guises too, so you can have it as a long or short wheel base. The latter in 102 brake horsepower, five speed manual, will do the 0 to 60 dash in around 15 seconds. The more powerful 150 brake horsepower will do it in just over 11 seconds. And if you opt for the more powerful 200 brake horsepower by turbo version, it'll do 0 to 60 in 8.6 seconds. Now let's be honest, no one's gonna be thrashing them to the limits. So 0 to 60 times don't really count for anything but performance figures show that just because it's a commercial vehicle, it doesn't have to be a slouch. Overall, the Transporter is a practical all-rounder, which is good to drive and well-equipped. The build quality is right up there with the very best in class, and the engines are powerful and frugal. The only thing we would say is that higher spec versions can be expensive to buy, and usable in-car storage could be better.